Hey guys, I'm Samantha from My Tempe and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to get to Drake Bay. There are three ways to get there. You can fly, you can take the boat, and you can drive. In this video, we're going to show you what it's like to take the boat from Sierpe, and then Jason is actually going to drive there. We're very excited to show you our journey to Drake Bay, so let's go. Among the three ways to get to Drake Bay, the most popular way is to take the boat ride from the town of Sierpe. Sierpe is a small town near Palmar Sur and it is the main tourism hub for visitors going to Drake Bay by boat. You can get to Sierpe by driving there in your rental car, taking public transportation, or getting there by a private shuttle. To learn more about renting a car or booking shuttles, I'll leave links to our blog posts below. Once we got to Sierpe in our car, Jason dropped me off near the boat launch and we said goodbye for now. In Sierpe, there are a few important places to note. Restaurant Las Vegas is a meeting point used by many rental car agencies for clients dropping off or picking up their rental car. If you're taking the public boat from Sierpe to Drake Bay, you need to go to Don De Jorge restaurant to purchase your boat tickets. If you're staying at a hotel that offers their own private boat, their boat launch is usually very close to the spot. If you need to leave your rental car in Sierpe while you're in Drake Bay, there are several private parking lots which cost between 3 to 4,000 colonas a night or 6 to 8 US dollars. Alright, we are ready to go on the boat. The public boat from Sierpe to Drake Bay leaves at 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. We recommend to arrive at least one hour before to buy tickets as they are on a first-come, first-served basis. Tickets cost 20 US dollars per way. The boat ride from Sierpe to Drake Bay takes approximately one hour to an hour and a half depending on the conditions of the day. It offers beautiful views of the Sierpe mangroves, which is actually the largest mangrove system in Latin America. And you'll also see the beautiful Osa Peninsula coastlines. Now I will let Jason introduce the route that he's going to take from Sierpe to Drake Bay by car. Before I start my drive to Drake Bay from Sierpe, let me just show you something. Um, this is my be a good advice. So if you are in Sierpe and if you type on Google Maps of Waze, uh, Drake Bay, uh, you know, these apps, always they're always gonna give you the shortest route. So this is Sierpe right now. Uh, I'm right here next to the park. So if you see here, on this section right here, there is like a river crossing. This is kind of like a small, very, very small ferry, something that can cross like maybe two, four cars at the same time. But I, personally do not recommend this this route the one that you cross uh, with the ferry especially in rainy season because there are going to be some creeks but they get very big on the rainy season so according to google maps this route is like two hours and 17 minutes but this section you know like from here to here can get very bad you know on the rainy season and you know it maybe even on the dry season i mean if it rains you never know so the safest way to drive um you might take like an extra 30 40 minutes is like you have to go back to you know to this road you know to the main road to the costanera actually you don't uh, to palmar norte and then oh, let me just go back and then you just oops and then you just drive back all the way, you know, you continue with route number two, and then in Chacarita, you turn right, and then you just keep all the way. Um, I'll show you some gravel parts that are on the road. But yeah, this is like this, I mean, we can say the safest uh, way to get there. And that's the route that I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna leave below all the information with more details about this route. The first part of the route continues down the Route 2 highway, so this part is still on a completely paved road. You will drive for about 45 minutes until you reach the next turn at Chacarita, and here we highly recommend you to fill up your gas tank. After you turn right at Chacarita, 
You will then drive on Route 245 for about 50 minutes until you get to the next main intersection. The views along this part are really pretty as you'll get glimpses of the Golfo Dulce on the way. Then once you get to the next main intersection at Rincon, you will turn right again, and from then on, the road turns into an unpaved road. The last part of this route does have some big potholes that you need to watch out for, and it also has a bit of incline and decline, so make sure you drive slowly and carefully. Luckily, there aren't many cars on this route, so you can drive as slow as you need to. We do highly recommend to have a high clearance car for this route in the dry season and a 4x4 in the rainy season. So if you love off-roading or driving 4x4s, then you will really like driving this part of the road to Drake Bay. It goes past some cow fields, pastures and farms, and small towns. You don't need to cross any rivers as there are bridges over all the creeks and rivers so just go slow, drive safe, and enjoy the drive. You will know when you start getting close to Drake Bay when you start seeing a lot of signs for hotels and tour operators. Just make sure to use a GPS navigation app like Waze and set your hotel as your destination. I drove with Jason out of Drake Bay when we left, so I got to experience both the boat and the car. I enjoyed both ways, but personally I did enjoy the boat ride a little bit more since it was more fun to see all the coastal views and plus you get to be on a boat. However, the drive is not horrendous if for some reason you have to drive to Drake Bay. Hey, it's all part of the adventure of getting around in Costa Rica. We have both safely made it to Drake Bay. I hope this video was helpful for you on figuring out how to get to your hotel in Drake Bay. If you guys want more information about Drake Bay, driving around Costa Rica, or just in general Costa Rica content, feel free to check out our website, mytanfeet.com. I'm Samantha from My Tan Feet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.